What's up everybody? Season 2 of Ghost, we were introduced to this polarizing figure, Mecca, aka Dante Spears, aka the GOAT of global snitching. And all season long, we could not help but to wonder if this man was connected to none other than Ghost James St. Patrick himself because they had a lot of similarities all the way down to even both of them having some kind of midlife crisis where they start back pursuing their high school sweethearts. And at the end of season two, we did find out, we didn't find out the exact details of the relationship or the connection, but we did find out there was some kind of connection there as Mecca told Tariq this exact quote. And I want you to listen very carefully to the details of this quote. He said, see, I know a lot about you, man. I know about your uncle, Tommy. I know about your dad, Ghost. I even know what you did to that mother. And then that's when Tariq told him, well, rat me out. That's what you do, isn't it? So I want to break down that quote because this has got, this is inside information. Every detail of this sentence that he spoke to Tariq, only a handful of people know any of this information, starting with Tommy. He just didn't say, I know Tommy Egan or I know Tommy, your dad's best friend. He made it personal. For Tariq, everything here was personal. I know about your uncle, Tommy. That's not his real uncle. Only a few people know that Tariq calls Tommy Egan Uncle Tommy. Only a few people know about that. That's their inside circle that knows about that. He says, I know about your dad, Ghost. Again, this is something that someone who watched on TV and sees the the politician James St. Patrick or anything else and sees Tariq's picture in the Times or whatever that they said his picture was in with his family. That's how Davis McLean recognized Tariq from his picture next to Ghost's obituary. But it didn't say Ghost, it said James St. Patrick. So that's another inf inside information. And then he said the last thing, I even know what you did to that mother. Only a few people know that it was Tariq who actually killed Ghost because if, if you let anybody else tell it, it was Tommy Egan who did it because that's who the police blamed for it. So only Stephen Ott, Cooper Sacks, Tasha, Tariq, Jenny Sullivan, and possibly the, and the judge, only a few people, and then I think he did tell Monet and Monet could have very possibly told Mecca that what Tariq did. But does she know? I mean, how much does she, Monet know? So all this is inside information that is very personal for Tariq. So I'm not sure how Mecca found out all this information. But now we have in season three... Tariq is going to be taking over for Mecca, working for a new plug named Noma. And before I get into anything about Noma, I want to talk about Mecca. One quote he said to Tariq at the, his final episode, the season finale of Ghost Season 2, when Kane said, Who are you again? And Mecca said, I move weight. Guns and drugs. I'm part of an international distribution chain. See, because Kane was supposed to take over for Mecca if he killed his dad, Lorenzo. So Kane was basically questioning Mecca, like, "Who are you again? I thought you, I thought you were the Connect, but now I found out you're Zeke's dad." And he's basically just like kind of mocking, mocking Mecca at that point. And that's when Mecca told him who he was. So this is who Tariq is going to be replacing. And he's going to be working for a new plug named Noma. 
And the description for Noma is that Noma, a worldly and powerful woman with a regal presence who has built her wealth with an illicit global empire and is not afraid to protect it by any means necessary. So Tariq is taking over for Mecca. It's not going to be Kane, so that's going to be another problem for uh that's going to be another problem for Tariq. He's going to face eventually in season 3 is because we already know Kane is extremely jealous of Tariq. So he's going to be even more jealous now when he finds out that Tariq is actually the plug. But Tariq has never actually moved weight. He's only sold drugs on campus. So he's still going to need the Tejadas to actually move the weight for him. They, they have a bigger network with him. So they'll be able to move the weight. Diana is going to be changing schools and going to Stansfield and we see a clip in the preview with her getting some weight out of the lockers that she previously robbed from Tariq and Brayden in season two but I believe she's going to be the one who's moving the weight at Stansfield now as Tariq and Brayden move their business over to Wall Street. So they'll be able to really tax a lot at Wall Street and still at Stansfield, but they're going to still need the Tejadas to move the weight wholesale for them. So that gets me into Noma. Most of us sit, sit, spent season two of Ghost wondering what Mecca's connection to ghost was and we still really haven't found that out maybe more details will be shed on that in season three but we got to ask the same question is noma connected to ghost in any type of way does she know who ghost is does she know who tommy egan is is this going to be a possible connection back to Tommy Egan in Chicago? We just don't know yet. We see in the trailer Davis McClain saying she got to go, Tariq. And everybody's thinking that he's probably talking about Monet. If he's not talking about Monet, that he's talking about Effie. But I believe that Davis McLean is talking about Noma when he tells Tariq that she got to go. Because I think we're going to see history repeating himself as the feds start getting hot on Tariq and building the Rico case. He is going to try to get himself out the game much like we saw his dad do. And like we saw his dad do trying to get out of the game. We saw him taking out all him and Tommy's plugs, starting out with Lobos, then Milan, then Jason Minchin, and even he had Kanan take out Diego Jimenez for a favor for Dre just still trying to get out the game. So we might see Tariq repeating this cycle that Ghost went through of killing off his plugs and I'm expecting by the end of season two for Tariq to eliminate Noma. Could Noma also be connected to Tasha St. Patrick, who we could possibly see coming back to Ghost in season three? The actress, Naturi Naughton, left the show Ghost after season one, and she did a show called queens and that show is no longer on so i'm almost guaranteed thinking that she's probably going to be returning back to ghost in season three at some point but let's remember tasha's backstory if you go back to og power that her dad was a drug dealer similar to james st patrick who left Tasha and her mom Estelle Green to start a new family and basically forgot all about Estelle and Tasha. So Tasha has other brothers and sisters that she doesn't even know about. So I'm asking the question, could Noma possibly be connected to Tasha St. Patrick in some type of way? 
could Noma be connected to James St. Patrick in some type of way? Do you feel like Tasha St. Patrick is going to return in Season 3 of Ghost? Leave your thoughts in the comments.